the travel nightmare that stranded thousands of people. Southwest Airlines canceled nearly 2,000 flights since Friday. And the big question is why? The answer depends on who you ask. Either way, people are stranded across the country and here in Tampa. Tampa International Airport started the day with eight cancellations. So you can see on this live flight status list, there are more delays expected throughout the night. Bo Zimmer is live at the airport tonight. Bo, you spoke with some people who just have no way to get home. Oh my goodness, Allison, it's such a headache for so many people. And this is a double dose of cancellations for many uh, customers who actually had their flights canceled on Friday as well. Now they're down here stuck in Florida trying to get home. We're up to 19 cancellations so far this afternoon, but we're told that number could climb as the evening continues. For the fourth straight day, the cancellations continue. Southwest said they won't do anything for us, said it's not their fault. Chris Falkenstein and his family are visiting from Phoenix. They waited through the long lines Friday. I was distraught. I was, I was in tears the whole time. Now their flight home is impacted as well. My wife is a teacher. I'm in law enforcement. And when it comes to us being out, it's caused a major issue for us. Southwest Airlines blaming air traffic control and weather related challenges for all the cancellations, but passengers aren't so sure. Southwest Airlines, the whole board is red. So for Southwest to say this has to do with air traffic controllers or anything else is BS. I think it's a combination of things. Jeremy Adams is a former flight scheduler for major airlines. He says while weather may have played a role, it may not be the whole story. With it being weather related, you normally hear about a particular airport is saying, hey, Orlando, they canceled this many flights or Tampa, they canceled this many flights. I didn't hear that. It was really just Southwest. He says airlines like Southwest have quickly ramped up service, but may not have the same number of reserve staff or aircraft on standby as they did pre pandemic. The margin for error is so small now. He says by blaming the weather, the airline is no longer on the hook for expensive compensation fees. It's kind of convenient to say ATC or weather because then the compensation is different that the airline has to give you. And while you might be mad at the airline, don't blame the person behind the counter. You cancel a flight, a full flight, that's 175 people maybe screaming at two people that are doing, that are honestly doing the best job they can in that situation. Just be patient with them. They're doing all they can from their end because sometimes that, that information that they're getting is the same information you're getting. And back out here live, just while we were standing here, Manny walked up to us, said he's one of the Southwest passengers. Uh, he's trying to get back uh, to New Mexico and just a headache for so many people. And I asked him, I said, well, what is the airline doing for you? He said uh, pretty much nothing. He's been left on his own to figure out hotels and Ubers and all those types of expenses that do add up. Now, a couple of tips for you. While the airline uh, may not be uh, you know, required to provide you any type of compensation, it never hurts to ask. They can sometimes help you out with meals or a hotel, things like that. It never hurts to ask. Don't know what the answer is going to be. Uh, the other thing to consider is once that flight has been affected or delayed or even canceled, you are then off the hook. You can then get a refund and per perhaps even book on another airline that is not impacted like Southwest has been. It's been a mess. As we said, 19 flights and that number keeps going up and uh, we'll see how long these delays and cancellations continue. Guys. Yeah,